PSA testing does appear to decrease the risk of dying of prostate cancer, number one. Two, the biggest risk to screening is not infection, hemorrhage, it's the concept of over-detection. You detect some cancers which would not put that men at risk if they were left untreated over their lifetime. That's the problem with screening. It may, re may reduce your risk of prostate cancer, but it, in doing so, it detects a lot of cancers that, in fact, pose no uh, danger to the patient. That's the problem with PSA testing. The third biggest point is that no longer just look at a single PSA cut point. You look at PSA, your age, your family history and ethnicity. That's far better than looking at a single PSA. You're more likely to detect cancer and importantly to detect those cancers which are higher risk. So again, just don't look at a single PSA. So those are the three important things you need to know. Probably the fourth kind of subtext is that if you're detected to have prostate cancer, recognize you may be found to have a cancer which does not need to be treated. You may be a very good candidate for something called active surveillance.